to Glamarthen and in game it is 10 a.m. In the real world, it is before 5 a.m. Um, insomnia sucks. But I'm I'm still away. I'm uh, I was debating actually getting in the car and driving home at like half four this morning because I could not sleep. I've been awake since 2 a.m. I think. Um, but I'm going to wait for a slightly more reasonable hour to drive home and I'm going to let some caffeine soak in. And while I do that, I'm going to chat to you guys and do some farming. So there are a couple of things that I want to tackle today. The first one is I want to spread some salt around the yard because the snow is bugging me and I didn't want to just use F12 to get rid of it all. You also have a load of milk to sell and I'm not sure after that. So, first thing we're going to do is lease the salt spreader. So, hopefully I've just placed down the store delivery point. The store is indeed going to deliver it to us. And uh, we have this breedle. And the 10 meter working with is probably going to cover quite a lot of the yard. So, I'm just going to lease it. I'm not going to bother with a... Um, and this might be fun to play with. Um, the problem I find with things like snow plows and snow blowers is that the piles of snow take forever to melt. So, and I'm not sure where we would blow it to. So, the first thing I want to try is just salt. It might be that the snow is too thick to just salt it. So, we'll see. I think it's the first time that I've done salt spreading in FS22. Um, in FS19, um, generally, I just used to try and ignore the, ignore the snow. Um, I would just put up with it, but it's, uh, the thing particularly that is bugging me is the, the fact that I seem to be getting snow in the build. Two things. Well, it's two things. Um... The fact that I seem to be getting snow in the buildings on here, even in buildings that I know have um, everything set up properly to not get snow in them. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, and you know, most of them don't be a problem because most maps don't have that much snow, but Glen Larthen sure does get a lot of snow. Um, Whoever set the weather up on here really needs a good talking to because there's a lot of snow. Um, the other problem is that the snow around the manure pit is stopping me being able to uh, actually put manure in it. So the other thing that I'm hoping is that if I do, the, if I clear the snow off of that, I'll actually be able to. Uh, muck out some of the sheds so let's begin and uh it would appear that maybe the snow is too deep for the salt spreader so maybe we do need a uh a snow plow or a snow blower which sucks so Given that that supposedly has quite a wide working width. Let's grab another tractor. And uh, maybe we'll try the snow blower. I think more than snow. So you can see all of the snow around here just makes it really hard to actually tip um, manure in the pit. Because the pile can't grow. So it, that's... It's part of why I want to try and sort this so the, the other reason is that there's snow in the buildings and I know there shouldn't be and uh, yeah and I'm not sure what what's causing that the other interesting thing is because the um, the mechanic to make manure spawn in the buildings basically inserts a manure pit into them some of the manure from these sheds is spawning inside it so that's fun might need to tweak it a little bit so that the uh, the range is smaller so that it's not picking up the other sheds 
Um, yeah. It's fun. So yeah, we're going to give this beastie a try. I'm going to lease it just in case it goes as well as the salt spreading. Um, yeah, I mean, that's one of the benefits of actually using the mods that I make, which I don't always get around to doing because, you know, with the way that I play in the money is a big part of, of my gameplay. You know, you have to earn the money to buy buy the things. You always have the money to buy the things. So, yeah. So, uh, you know, it's like I haven't used the uh, the pig pen or the sheep pen. Um, so, yeah. Let's uh, blow it that way, maybe. Um, and it probably means we're going to end up with uh, piles of snow in... Oh, wow, that's, uh, that's working brilliantly. Uh, do I need to go slower? Mm, is it because that's in a trigger? Maybe. Yeah. That might be because there are triggers there. So. Awesome. This suddenly feels like it's going to be a much slower process than I had hoped. Um, because going over the yard with a three meter working width is going to take a while. Um, and probably I need to be working the other way so that I'm working towards where I want to drop snow. So let's head over here. Um, I guess it's a little bit like snow plowing in that approach. So I kind of left the lights on on the... Uh, the tour. Yeah, I fed the cows before we started in the dark because half of the day during winter is dark on this map. So uh, let's lower that down. Off we go. So yeah, that's that's interesting. Oh, it's throwing yeah, it's throwing it down there. So hey, there's there's some salt in the way. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to work towards where we want to throw the snow and we're probably going to be limited by where we can get to. I've left the lights on the Fiat as well. There we go. Probably uh, at least at least switch the engines off. So, you know, we're at least flattening the batteries. Um, but we're not burning diesel. So that's a good thing, right? That's a good thing. I'm curious if this snowblower is going to handle the fact that um, we've got increasing accumulations of snow. Can I set it so it fires? Maybe. We might be able to fire even further, which would be kind of cool. Uh, let's go back as far as we can, and off we go. Is, is that dropping it on the ground or is that just firing into the ether at that point? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, there we go. Uh, I mean, it's clearing the snow very nicely, which is cool. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't get... Maybe it's me. Um, all of the people on, you certainly see them on Facebook, right? How do we get more snow? It's like, why do you want more snow? Not fun. Uh, oh, now that's, that's a good job it's least hate. I don't find it fun. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this because we have an issue. Um, if we didn't have an issue, I would have taken the approach that I took in uh, FS19 and I would have just ignored it so let's try now we've cleared this big patch off and I've set it to fire up into the air let's see what happens if we run down here if it just sends it into the nothingness it appears to be sending it in to the nothingness which I'm kind of happy with so I guess we can just drive around firing snow into the nothing and uh, clear some of this up, which is pretty cool. Sorry, cows, you are going to be getting a snow slushy. Um, what I'm thinking 
is oh, that's because there's a trigger there is once i cleared the snow out of the yard and salted i might then use f12 to get the snow out of the buildings because this shouldn't be there um and uh that's one of the reasons I'm doing this, because having snow in the buildings is kind of annoying. Um, and by kind of, I mean very. So, Well, I say very annoying. Not annoying enough for me to try and work out why. Uh, and that is partly because... Uh, unless it's a mod issue, you know, like a mod conflict... Um, so, I know that there are, and the, the way it works is you have indoor areas. And I know there are indoor areas inside even of the temporary job that I did here. Because the improvised animal shed has indoor areas. So, yeah, I know that... Um, there shouldn't be snow in most of that building, for example. And uh, there is, and that's mighty annoying. Right. Yeah, so it's been a it's been a couple of day trip with work, and uh, today insomnia hit pretty hard, and uh, it's going to make today suck because I've got a pending on traffic and if you know so one of one of the reasons I contemplated leaving so early was it would mean there would be no traffic um, but I do want to try and feel a little bit more awake before I get on the road um, but yeah I've got a it'd be like three three and a half hour drive home I think um, and then work for the rest of the day so gonna suck because I am gonna be wrecked by the end of the day and only two more days left of work before the end of the year today and tomorrow um, tomorrow's a half day because it's Friday so yeah that's not so bad it's not so bad but not sleeping sucks. I think I got like a good three hours sleep, you know? Which, you know, who needs more than that, hey? Embrace my inner Mark Thor. Who, if you don't know, tends to just not sleep, it would seem. Uh, come on. I know this wouldn't work in reality, but we need to get the snow off of the manure pit so that we can actually muck out cows. Um, the manure spreader is now going to be full of semi-frozen manure because I didn't clear that out either. I'm a lazy farmer sometimes. I mean, this is working quite well in that it does just fire it into the nothing. And unless somewhere further down the map is appearing a giant pile of snow, that's cool. You know? I kind of like that. I can deal with that. It'd be nice if it had like a 10 meter working width. Um, not that I would use it on here because we're kind of supposed to be playing with the game being hard and this does make the game harder um yeah so this video should come out on friday if i finish it which i should do um and we'll then be going in to the kind of holiday phase and as i've said but i'm just going to reiterate i don't know what i'm going to be doing for videos while i am in holiday mode um, so 
part of the process for me making videos and recording audio is I generally do that um, around working at home. So, um, and I'm not going to be doing that. And it would be kind of nice to spend. So the teenager's back home on Saturday. Uh, she's only home for, I think, three weeks. So it would be kind of nice to, as much as possible, spend a bit of time with her. And this is disturbed because although we've had a week's holiday, we, we don't see each other very much. So, yeah. I'm sure there'll be some videos, there just might not be the, uh, however many it is I make a week, quite a lot, so, I remember talking, and it, I think it was in a, in a video for the patrons actually, if you're interested in any of that, there are links below, um, about trying to reduce the number of videos that I make, and then the Timberborn video starts doing incredibly well, and I now make more videos in a week, so, I generally am at the moment making four Timberborn videos a week, which most of, some of you don't care about, I'm not going to say most, some don't care about, um, but actually those, those, those get really, really good views and really good enga engagement, and I love playing that game, so I'm not going to stop even if some of you don't like it. Um, so there's four Timberborn videos a week, there's a, a farm sim video for the patrons, so that's five, and then... I attempt to do um, seven videos, so a video a day. So that's 12 videos a week um, on a typical week. And they, they don't always get all of those made, but let's say 10 videos a week, something like that. Um, that's a lot of content. And... Uh, I've never worked, I've been curious actually as to what my hourly rate, what the hourly rate works out as. And, uh, you know, I shouldn't be complaining because there are a lot of people that do this for free. You know, as, as you're building your channel up, you, uh, you, you're doing all this. And, you know, playing the game is not work. Um, but there is a lot of extra stuff that goes around it. You know, there's, you know, you ed editing the videos and all that stuff and you know but yeah i, I was kind of you know, kind of, it probably isn't something that i want to work out because it would probably be kind of depressing um you know even if you only looked at the hours spent doing the non-playing video games, because playing video games is not work is it um you know, playing video games is is fun why we do it um but and, and I, remember, I think no idea how i've gone to this topic but I, I think i remember talking about the uh the period where when when you're when you're starting out making videos and uh it takes you longer to make the video than people watch and i'm not i don't just mean you know it's like total so uh, you know I'm, I'm sure it was quite a long time before my videos were getting more than a total you know sort of three hours watch time which is roughly what i you know kind of think is the amount of time it takes me to make a typical video Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more. But I try and aim to play for a couple of hours when I'm making a farm sim video, if I can, you know, depending on the jobs that, that I'm doing. Um, that always used to be kind of my baseline. And uh, then you've got editing and uh, record for me. Because Jen, this this has got live voice, but generally I don't have live voice. Um, you know, there's the editing, recording the voice, bit editing again. So the disadvantage of the process that I generally take is videos 
have a kind of two-stage editing process because I have to edit the sound once I've recorded it. Um, eh, not complaining, just, just really just something to ramble about at um, what is now 20 past five in the morning. Um, but yeah, you know, there was there was definitely a uh, a long period of time where I I would spend three or three hours ish making a video and it'd get watched for like 30 minutes um and that's all part of the process you know all part of the process it is a long process and i am very grateful for where i've ended up doing this this is uh um my probably third I, i'm gonna call it a third attempt at doing youtube and some of you have heard this story, I know. Um, that's what happens when you uh, you listen to the same person ramble for so long, I end up repeating stuff. But yeah, this is my third go at doing YouTube. It's why my YouTube channel has existed since 2015. Um, so the channel's been around a very long time, um, but has only been, you know, successful for a little while um and uh yeah it's 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 good it's really good and you know i've met some very cool people made some good friends from it um some cool opportunities all from you know randomly deciding to start recording me playing a video game that I originally thought would be really boring um, so I again stuff that I've spoken about before but hey I uh, I remember first seeing someone play farm sim and thinking that looks kind of interesting but how long am I going to play it for you know it went once once you've done the things, isn't it going to get boring and repetitive? And the answer is no, obviously. And I have no no idea how many hours of fonts in that I've played now because um, one of the drawbacks of switching to the Giants version of the game when I went to FS22 is that you don't get a accumulative hours count and uh you know when you get you get an hours count for a save game so this save game once it's saved come on come on it's not a ps4 you can save quicker than that for saving to an ssd please hurry up thank you so this save game has 140 hours on it you know not not necessarily that much um, i don't know how it works with pulling in the hours from when it's on the multiplayer server um but that's one save game and i don't have all of my save games still so i can't just go in um at this point and just add up all the hours in the save games because they don't all exist anymore um you know, for FS19, I can go back and look because I, I only had the Steam version of that. And I only had one copy of the game. You know, now I have two active copies of the game. So, it's, uh, yeah, I have no idea how many hours of FS22 I've played, but it's a lot. It's probably less than, you know, than a lot of people that maybe watch. Um, and that's something that I've spoken about that because uh, not because I'm trying, I'm trying, trying to phrase uh, my brain is not functioning well today I'm glad I don't have too much serious work stuff to do when I get back home um, I generally and I, th I think this is common for most people that maybe not so I've been assuming some, some incorrect things lately. So for me, I generally don't play Palm Sim 
for something that's not recording. I've occasionally considered doing it because it'd be kind of fun's the wrong word because you know, playing farm sim is fun. It would be kind of cool sometimes to just play, you know, load up the game, do some stuff or whatever. But um, as I always say, time is finite. So I would rather because of, and because of the way that I make videos, I can just sit and play. Most of the time, I can just sit and play farm sim, have OBS running in background record the bits I want to record and you know it's it's not like I'm having to sit there with a microphone and talk and all that kind of stuff most of the time um so that's that kind of, and that's kind of how it started um you know I was playing the game a lot anyway so it's like well I know how to make videos um I love watching farm sim on YouTube other people seem to like watching Farm Sim on YouTube. Why don't I try and make some YouTube videos? Um, and I'd seen... Chain I was watching a bit of Chainsaw 100. Um, who I haven't watched in a very long time. And um, we can talk about that again in a bit, if I remember. Um, was that... I could, I, I could try making some some farm sim YouTube videos and see how that goes. And uh, here we are. Here we are. Several several videos later, um, and you know over five thousand subscribers and doing things like community meetups. So yeah, it, obviously things have sort of worked out. So. Chainsaw 100 videos that inspired me partly to get going. So there are there are a couple of YouTubers that made me think I could have a crack at this. The format of Chainsaw's videos was one of them because I was not a fan of talking on the videos. Um, on my the previous stuff that I'd done where I was doing the Battle Pirates things. Originally, I started out trying to do. I originally started out trying to dream doing that because I thought I could do that. Streaming's hard, um, and particularly, you know, I I don't like doing too much stuff like that in the evenings. So it was like streaming during lunch hour is not the best time slot. You know, it's it's slightly too early to get the US audience and unless people happen to have their lunch hour at the same time as you they're working so and uh, also back then I was not working at home as much so it, it was very limited on how I could do stuff and I had no clue what I was doing to be honest and I had like a 10 pound now this was back in 2015 so Things have changed, but back then I had, you know, I had like a ten-pound microphone. It was awful. I didn't know very much about making things sound better. Now I still have a voice by Wish. You know, not going to lie about that. Some of you, some of you don't care, which is cool, um, and it ain't changing. So, actually, making decent progress on this job. Um, yeah, and so I then. I then switched to doing kind of not quite tutorials but sort of demo type videos without talking and they were better they were more my thing um uh, yeah and then when so you know like i i, I could i was making and it's kind of funny because just talking about how many videos that i'm making a week now um back when i started um because I don't know the, the process was that the no I don't know why um but I I would be making probably a similar number of videos a week so I was probably making like 10 videos a week but I was only uploading about four and uh it got so that I had such a huge back catalogue 
that I went to daily videos. And I also ended up combining a bunch of them into like, you know, so I'd, I'd take take the video that I'd recorded for what, for two videos and make it into one, um, which made for very long time lapse videos. And they don't work, I don't think. I think if you're making time lapses, they have to be quite short. Um, because, so the reason that I don't watch people like Chainsaw now is you have to read the video. And, uh, the reason that I like videos of this kind of format is you can have it on in the background, you can listen, you can, you know, you can kind of half watch them. Um, and that works. And I always, I have always said that you should make the videos that you would watch. And I wouldn't watch the ones where people don't talk. So, and that and kind of being encouraged by some of the community to, to try using words. And that's how we've ended up here. Yeah, I guess I'm I'm feeling a little bit retrospective today. Um, and that that is partly, I think, because YouTube has started sending out its this is how your year's gone. And it's gone okay actually. It's gone okay. Um It's interesting seeing how some different channels have grown and comparing like a lot of people are posting their their messages from youtube about how they've done and you know comparing like views and stuff and that's probably not a very good thing to do right i have been rambling for a fairly long time so i'm going to park that up i'm going to see if i can do the job i wanted to do at the end of the last video, which was to muck out the cows. Not sure why that's suddenly fallen on the floor. Let's grab that. Uh, and then I think we're actually going to call it a day. Because, as I say, I've been rambling for quite a long time. And uh, it's, it's getting close to the point where I think I'm going to go and throw my stuff in the car and head home. Which means I'll probably end up sitting in a bunch of traffic, but also that that's going to happen, whatever, and it will change where the traffic is. So, yay, we can. So the only slight issue we have is all of the snow inside the animal shed now. No, and me being completely incompetent with my driving. So, yeah, I do do want am going to replace the the teagle bale shredder spreader that we have with the uh the new one that released the trailed one um so i've been having a bit of a battle with the controls for the telehandler mounted one um right with how much snow that i have cleared I think it's time to, uh, to F12 away the rest of it because it, it's making some things unworkable. Uh, and you know, I, cl I cleared most of the yard, so if if what I've just done offends you, eh, deal with it need to be able to play the game and uh, having snow in buildings makes it kind of unplayable so when you have to shovel manure out of sheds and you can't do that because there's snow in the sheds when there shouldn't be you do this it's gonna snow again in a bit anyway so it'll be back don't worry and we'll be clearing it again and uh yeah i think probably gonna have to keep the uh the winter kit least through until spring so that we are able to keep clearing the snow out uh, how's that shed looking for straw not too bad so i don't know if i mentioned it i have switched the the calves over to tmr 
I was very late to weaning them off milk, it would seem. I, uh, I did some Googling and cows are fairly quickly weaned off of milk. Um, and I don't think they go straight to TMR, but that's kind of the only option we have at the moment. We don't have a calf feeding mechanic in the game, so went from milk to TMR. And, uh, and I haven't sold, I had planned to sell milk today. We have a lot of milk, uh, but hey, I've, I've rambled away enough of your time and uh, kind of want to get this finished. So, uh, get out of here and we can shut the gate. See, before. So, I think we should get our next set of calves in January. And before I transition to January. Before I transition to January, we are going to need to muck out the other shed as well. So we'll do that at some point. Let's get that little stray bit of manure now. It does want to let's pick it up. That's good. Yeah, I'll have a quick look in the menu and I'll show you just how much milk we have. Um, and it's okay because it's cold, so it's staying fresh. Staying fresh. Right. We also have quite a lot of cash in the bank, which is quite nice. Um, right. So we have. Obviously, the calves haven't produced milk. Um, this shed has eleven thousand liters of milk. This shed has fifteen thousand liters of milk. So that's what twenty-six-ish thousand, and there's another five thousand in the pasture still. So, that's a decent amount of milk to get sold. Which, I think at this point, we're going to do next time. So, I'm going to say thank you to the patrons and YouTube channel members. Appreciate you guys supporting the channel. Uh, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed me ramble away about stuff, then click the like button. Any comments, questions, or suggestions, stick them below. And uh, I will see you next time.